Welcome back everyone to this web automation series where I will teach you exactly how to create any web automation tool on the internet. This includes bots, web scrapers, and more. This part, we will create a program that enters details into a form with text boxes, drop downs, buttons, and more, and we will ultimately submit the form. This is extremely important because every web automation tool should be able to submit a form. So do not miss any detail in this video. All right, so we are pulling up the code from last part. You see it's a Walmart add to car code. What we're going to do is we're going to delete this link right here, right? We can also remove all of this code right here. And we're going to go to this website, uh, phil.dev slash form slash credit card simple. And what we're going to do is we are going to put that link right here, okay? And now the browser will go to, you know, this page. And what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to enter stuff in here, right? So we want to enter my name. So to do this, we're going to go on more tools, developer tools. And we're going to get to select the ID for this tool right here, so, uh, for this box. So we see that the selector's ID equals CC dash name. We're going to do is so we're going to copy it. And this is how we're identifying this box. And you always want to use an ID if available. Sometimes you can't, the element won't have an ID, but otherwise if it does, you want to use an ID since the ID is extremely unique and only one element on a page can have an ID. So no ID will be repeated. So now what we do is do let selector equals uh, input ID equals what CC name. All right, so now we're going to do await page dot wait for selector. Yeah, and now we're going to do after that is we are now going to use a page dot type method, which actually allows you to type anything into a field. You just pass in the selector, which we have right here, and what you want it to type. So let's do Ritej Verma. That's my name, for those who don't know. Now we're gonna run this code, and see it opens a browser, and boom, it types right for us. Like, nice and quick, we don't have to worry about anything. So, we got that part done. So let's kill the bot. And now we have to do, we want to, also make the bot choose a item in this in this list right one of these options so the question is how do we do that this is where you follow the same approach you grab the id of this um this drop down right so let's copy that and now we'll update selector to equal input id equals that so now when we update the value we know that the the selector will already be there right if this is here, then so will this, right? We don't have to wait for the selector to appear again. You only need to wait for selector to, just in case you're going to a page for the first time and you wanna make sure that the text box is there before you start typing it, because if it's not there, you're not, you're typing in nothing, correct? So you don't have to wait for the selector anymore. We can just simply do await page.select, right? And now we pass in the selector, and now we pass in the value we want to select. Now, what do I mean by value? If you open this select, you see all these option values, correct? We want to pick whichever one. So you want to go by the value. So in this case, we want the visa, right? So we're going to type in visa. So what it should do now is it should actually select visa for us. So let's test this out. Um, oh, looks like it crashed. No element found for selector. Input ID equals CC dash type. Hmm. What this means is that this does not exist. Oh, because it's not an input. It's a select. You see right here, select tag. Over here, it was an input tag. So you want to be careful with that. Um, let's run it again. Boom, it typed in Ritesh Verma and it selected the credit card type. So now we can finish up the process. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna input, we're gonna have to just destroy the bot again. Control C. Now we just grab in the details for this. So it's what? CC input ID equals CC number. So just copy that. number um copy that and you see a lot of web automation just copy paste guys four two four four two four two four two four two 
Four two four two four two four. Sixteen digits, right? Uh, one two three four. One two three four. Three. Four. Am I tripping? Okay. Four two four two. Four two four two. Four two four two. All right. Sixteen digits, right there. So now we also have to expire a month as well. So CC dash expire. Expiry month. Okay. And we're going to let's say let's say you want the expiry month to be um, October twenty twenty six is expiry. Okay. So that means expiry month we want to be ten. And we have to check the values, okay? Remember. So the value is, yep, 10. And then for expiry year, it's this. And the value is 2026. So copy this. Expiry year. And we're going to do 2026. So we have the name on card. We have the type. We have the number, expiry month, year. All we have to do now is just click pay so we're going to do I uh, see there's no ID for this button so we're just gonna have to go for the submit so we can do selector equals button type equals submit because there's only one button that has this type on its entire form right and now we just do a wait page dot click selector and this should take us to the end what I'm going to do is Let's just not, let's comment this out just so we can see the bot actually type in everything and select everything. Make sure that works before we actually click the button to proceed. Okay, so you see it didn't type in the CVV. Um, did I forget CVV? I did forget CVV. See, this is why we want to make sure. CC-CSC, CC-CSC, CC-CSC. So CC dash CSC. Let's let's say CV is um, six one one. Okay. Uh, let's do nine one one. Uh, let's do nine one seven. Now let's try again. Yep, everything is selected for us, as we can see. So now all that's left is to click pay, and we commented that out already. So now let's uncomment that out. And let's see if this works. Boom, boom, boom. And it submitted successfully. And that is a powerful web automation. Be sure to hit the bell, like, subscribe, so you don't miss part three of this series.